D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? Um, I want to say, though, that before I get started, uh, if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, YouTube is going to do their uh, annual bot purge and old account cleanse, and there usually is a little bit of collateral damage. So I please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. On December 16th, audio of Tom Cruise on the set of Mission Impossible 7 leaked, and it is him uh, screaming at the crew. Um, now, I wasn't going to do this story. I wasn't going to cover it and everything. But then I found out that five crew members quit. And I was like, all right, well, now I'm going to do it because it's interesting. Uh, you know, um, I was like, uh, this has become a story now because people quit over it. They quit their job. So he went um, into like a, 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 a two minute fit. And it, it get like the audio got leaked online of him of him freaking out on some cast me- or some crew members, not cast members. And I just was wondering, is he justified? And was the crew justified for quitting? And so I was, you know, you know, after after listening to this, and I'm not going to put the audio. I mean, maybe I'll put a small clip up. I'm probably not. Maybe we'll see uh, when I edit this. <laughs> but uh, he's freaking out and. I understand that people are at work and when you're at work, no matter what you do for a living, if you screw up, there's a chance somebody's going to yell at you. And is that fair? Is that right? Mm, Maybe not for them to like scream at you if they do. Um, But sometimes you just need to be told, Hey, you're, you're screwing up, fix it and stop screwing up. And you're doing something that, you know, whatever. And so I get, and you know, I understand that it could be a high stress situation especially for him because he's he put money into adding more um you know covid uh oh gosh i don't know where the right word parameters so they could be more safe you know safety measures that he put in more he spent his own money uh i believe 500,000 to put in safety measures and um they had been shut down once before so i can understand that he's freaking out about that and this is like a high budget movie and they wanted to do well at the box office if theaters are open um come 2021 i think this hoping it comes out next year and so i understand that situation i and and uh, and i and they were being watched you know because they had gotten shut down once so they were being like watched like hardcore and i think that maybe sometimes they wanted to like make an example of somebody and they were just like let's do the tom cruise movie so some and some are comparing this to the Christian Bale uh, audio, and it's completely different. Christian Bale was freaking out on a lighting guy because he was in his eyesight. That was childish. This one, I kind of see how he was justified in the sense that he was trying to make stuff safe at the same time and not get shut down. And let's go over some of his comments. He said, "If I see you doing it again, you're effing gone." And and he was and he was referring to these two members. I guess they were standing less than six feet close to you. They were standing close than six feet and they were, they were wearing their masks, but I guess what they were doing is they were, were, they were watching some, some, some films, some playback or whatnot. And they were less than two meters uh, apart. And he saw that and freaked out. And then he also said, if anyone in this crew does it, does it. That's it. Um, And you too, and you too, and you too, don't you ever effing do it again. Um, Let's see. And he said, uh, they're back. Let's see. Hold on. He said, they're back there in Hollywood making movies right now because of us. We are creating thousands of jobs, you mother effers. That's it. No apologies. You can tell it to the people that are losing their effing homes because of our industry is shutting down, is shut down. Uh, We are not shutting this effing movie down. Is it understood? If I see it again, you're effing gone. Now, he then went on to say, like, we're putting people's kids through college and everything. And he tried to to wrap it up, trying not to make it sound like it was all about the movie. It was about the people. And I just want to be all like, listen, I get what you're saying, but you... You were definitely doing it for the wrong reasons. Like you were, you were justified in saying something because you're trying to keep everybody safe and you're trying to keep these protocols in, in, in line so you don't get shut down. That I get. What I don't get is you doing it because um, you 
don't want to get it shut down because you are a producer on this and you have a lot at stake with this movie and you're trying to wrap it up as in I'm trying to keep my keep my people with work instead of no I want my movie to do well so so like listen I get it you're kind you're justified that you said something but you're you were doing it for selfish reasons so stop it don't give me that nonsense because I won't daddy don't play that game so tell me, what do you guys think about these? How do you feel about Tom Cruise and all his comments on the set and his meltdown? He went on uh, vacation, uh, an early vacation for that, by the way. Uh, it's so crazy because uh, of this whole controversy. But how do you guys feel about that? Do you think he was justified? Do you think he was not justified and everything? So go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys. You guys have a good week. Bye.